Hi, my name is Lee Floyd and I work in the Magnet Office for Lexington Richland School District 5. This is a how-to video on completing the School of Choice application for school year 2018-2019. On January 22nd at 8 o'clock in the morning, a link will appear at www.lexrich5.org and all of our school websites where you'll be able to click on the School of Choice application. Or you can simply visit www.d5choiceapp.com. The School of Choice application will remain open from 8 o'clock on the 22nd through 5 p.m. on February 2nd. Right now, we're on the staging site, which you can see on the screen. The first time you visit the School of Choice application, you'll create a parent account entering the information that you see here. After you create the account, for all future visits, you'll enter your email and password that you've chosen here to log in. Please notice that if you need to choose a language other than English, you can choose it here. Once you log in, you're going to find yourself on the dashboard screen. And this is your main page for the application. Here, you'll see all of the students that are linked to your parent account. Please make sure that if you have multiple children, all of the applications are found in one single parent account. You'll see here that I've created an application for student John Smith. Let's start a new application for another student. Here we're going to begin the application. I'd like to point out that the first question that you're going to see is this student currently enrolled in District 5? If you answer yes to this question for your currently enrolled student, you'll notice that you'll need a student ID where you'll enter here your, the ID, first name, last name, and birth date. You'll receive this information in an email sent by the district for each of your enrolled students. If you have this information, all of the student information, including address and parent information, will be pre-populated on the screens to follow. If you do not have a currently enrolled student, simply click No and proceed with the application. Make sure you read the requirements and policies before you hit I Agree and then continue to the application. On the next screen, we'll begin entering student information. Make sure you enter your student's birth date accurately the grade that they're applying to, the grade that they're currently in, and your address. On the following page, we'll collect guardian information. As I stated earlier, if your students are previously enrolled and you entered their student ID, these sections should be filled with the information that we have on your student already. As you see, this is pre-populated with my name and address. You'll scroll down to the bottom and make sure you answer question 2.54, how did you hear about the District 5 Choice Programs? We'd love to know whether you've attended our Magnet Fair, an open house, or our website. And I'd like to note that make sure you enter the information as you wish to be contacted, the main cell phone or home phone number, and the email that you check the most frequently. As you continue forward, here you'll be able to choose the school selection for your child. You'll be able to choose one or two choices. You do not have to choose two choices. And I'd like to point out, please don't choose your zoned school as either one of the choices. Those are not required for school of choice. Here you'll see that if you're applying for an elementary school, only elementary schools will be listed in the list. On the following page, you'll begin answering some questions about siblings. You'll see that it's going to ask if you have a brother or sister currently attending this school. If you say yes, it will ask for their information. It's going to also ask if you have a sibling who's applying on a separate application for this same school. And if you say yes to that, it'll ask who else is also applying to this school. 
you'll be able to add as many siblings as you wish right here in the application. On this page, you'll notice that you'll read a brief statement and then provide an electronic signature. Continuing forward, you'll be able to review the, the information that you've entered for your student. Make sure you check carefully that you've entered the correct information, your correct school choices, and then you'll be able to edit any of these things from right here in the application. If you want to change your school order, if you want to give more information about siblings, just simply click the edit buttons that you see. Then you'll send your application. Once your application is submitted, you'll land on the complete page. It'll tell you thank you for your interest, that we've received your application, and that you can return at a later date at any time. You will also receive a confirmation email, and we recommend that you print this page. Before we leave the application, I'd like to point out a couple of features that we have in our new application. Going back to the dashboard, I'd like to point out that now you can see I've got John Smith and Jane Smith, both associated with my one parent account. If I'd like to start another application, I can do it here, and then scrolling down, you'll see that I can review either one of these student accounts and check the status of the application. And as you can see here, John's application to Corley Elementary, Leader and Me Magnet, and Dutch Fork Elementary as his second choice are submitted and in processing. You can, until the choice window ends on February 2nd, edit this information at any time. If you click on the other student, you'll see her information as well. Secondly, there'll be a message screen. And at any time the district does uh, makes a change as far as uh, needing you to make more, give more information, you'll be able to visit this screen. It shows you here that you have submitted an application for Jane, that you've submitted an application for John, and that you've created an account. The district can send messages to you in this screen at any time. I think that's everything that I want to show right now, and um, please make sure that you call 803-476-8260 if you have any questions, and you will reach me at that number. Thank you so much.